first descendant. I uh, played this for a few days. Uh, we're going to go into it before. Uh, right when you open it, you're able to see. This is PS4 version, so uh, up on the D-pad, you're able to choose your descendant, which ones you have. Uh, once we get in, I'll show more. This is the one I have. You're able to choose three from the very beginning. Choose them wisely, because that's it. That's all you're going to get for a very long time. A lot of the stark screens, big spaceship, sometimes stairs, people sitting on them on the outside, just like Anthem. Um, but once you get in, it's going to have a very, very Destiny 2 similarity and sound, that beam. Uh, once you come in, right here to, this is your HUD, um, everything is either long press or short press, there's your map, all these are kind of irrelevant, all these little spots around because down at the bottom, this is again PS4. Your D-pad, you can just up on the D-pad, show your local map. Now right here down at the bottom, you can right D-pad and show your world map. Uh, so going to the actual spot, world map, local map, it's kind of unnecessary. Here's your mailbox. Um, daily, you'll get rewards, login rewards, just acquire those. These are your weapons and your descendant colors. You're able to, and I'll show you those in a second. Um, much like Destiny, you got a guy standing right here in the middle. Have you completed preparations? And you're able to go and do these boss battles. And they unlock once you get further along. Um, and that's what he's for. Come over here to the right. You have your customization station for your descendant, all the different skins, uh, full body, change your entire uniform, paint shop, all these different colors cost money. Here's your currency up here, up above and weapons skins as well there's your paint uh, in the beginning and if you pass just like destiny far right come down this way again you have another mailbox if you're over in this area here is your weapons keep it short you can purchase or sell. Uh, to the side of him here, you have a workbench. Once these are unlocked. Um, down here is your mod specialist. Um, over here is your. Now, what do you want? Go on, I'm waiting. They call it research, but it's basically a way to acquire your descendants. You can purchase them with your currency up here. Um, much like and very familiar with, let's just pick a random one, Kyle. Um, if you've ever played Warframe, you've got to collect the different components. You got one, two, three, four. Uh, his description um, and they're all like that because if I go out for a second push up go here's all your menu 
consumables, which are when you destroy a item over here in your inventory. Those become your craft crafting materials. Here's your descendant. Okay, down here. This on the operation. Go up. It's just wiping them all. You're able to choose one, two, or three in the beginning, and that's it. After a few missions, you start collecting, and I'll show you on the map, the bunny items. Then they want you to craft her. Now I'm at the point to where they're making me uh, second area of the map collect Kyle parts. And then I'm sure as they unlock, we'll be able to unlock the other one, two, three, four, five, six descendants, and you'll play with. Right here, since we're in here, it'll show what their active skills are. You can scroll over these and see. Real easy uh, interface. There's their passive. Put that back there. Are you ready to be shot? Real quick intro and her skills. You can sit and read. Um, you can also get rid of the UI. I don't know. I guess if you're gonna take a picture, bring it back. Uh, details. You can go into the first story. Uh, you can customize her modules and research lab. <laughs> Elf. Are you? Ready to be shot? Some stats. And you can sit here and scroll very easily through all of them with the D-pad. Uh, the are right down here. Do as I say, if you want to live. Uh, inventory. These are your, basically, mods give you HP, more defense, more shield. And you collect these, they'll drop as you kill the enemy. Um, just a way to customize your descendant. Uh, real easy way, sort, level, tier, weapon. You can set this up and it'll stay that way. Uh, over here, this is your inventory, D-pad. Primary, secondary, special, or super weapon. Um, weapon list. You can go into all of the ones that you've unlocked, haven't unlocked. Um, and they're separated by, you know, normal, better, best. And let's see. You can also mod them. Um, I prefer to do it from here, just like Warframe. You have these cards, you can up your abilities on your weapons, and it will show right here when you add them. Um, like Warframe, you only have a certain amount you can use. They have values up at the top right corner, 4, 20, very familiar with Warframe that you can only have a certain amount therefore that's why these two are empty on this one um, when you equip tap it you can go into the menu that way for each of them and set them up um, you can change your skins as it's showing hard hold and you can change the way they look here's a preview go back and what's the best way let's see Go and change your colors of your weapons. Um, it's going to highlight, kind of like uh, Anthem. If you've ever played Anthem, uh, there's certain parts where you can change the colors. Let's just randomly choose. You'll see that 
almost everything is locked. You gotta earn it, play, uh, daily login, and you'll get colors. Um, preview, 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 just to see what it'll look like. It's not gonna change because this color is possibility is locked. Um, you can also do that with your this operation sending customize right here uh, you're able to choose the cosmetics the way he looks but you're also able to change his color um, and much like Warframe you can change just the head in difference of the body if you want um, quests main quest and got sub quests you can activate them track them untrack them um, map r2 r out very similar to destiny 2 um, go back in you can see everybody running around the players that are either gone or just standing around just like destiny exactly where everything is where you're gonna go social will show who's in who's out took for your friends spot them in um, cross play let's go to customize your descendant your weapon uh, your spawn when you spawn in the special effect your grappling hook yes R1 at least on the PlayStation this is R1 and you'll be able to customize that eventually your emotes you earn those you're given four in the beginning as you progress or log in you'll get one or two uh, your name card eventually um, so that's basically just how easy it is because if you're familiar with Destiny 2 or Warframe or even Anthem um, and everything is very easily set up it shows you where to go what to do how to do it uh, this operation let's go to the map Get out of here. Uh, showed her, let me show, because we were talking about the cards, much like Warframe and same thing. Hi there, what can I help this, you with? You can combine, if you ever played Warframe, four cards together, it'll become one. You're going to have a lot of duplicates, and ones you don't want, you don't need, you can do that route, or you can dismantle them. Uh, ones you don't want, ones you know you don't want, the ones that are green are already in use, the ones that are bright uh, are not in use. You can also just simply L3 and it's going to take the ones that are duplicates. Uh, where is it? Let's go down it's right there with the plus and right there which means I have duplicates that will give me the shard currency if I decide to dismantle those and that's what break is right there you can also modules will make you stronger enhance them make some of your favorites if they're a descendant special like that's for bunny and bunny only you might want to enhance that um, or maybe it's a one of your favorite high powers you can enhance it as well um, just like Warframe and just the very familiar look of Destiny 2 um, it's got an Anthem-esque aesthetic to it 
Um, so let's just get out of here. Oh, over here. Once you do a few levels, you will want to rank yourself up. There's these two hands, they come down, they close on you. Um, you master rank. What that does is it gives you extra mods, capacity, inventory, storage space. It's basically upping your descendants. And where are we? Right now mine is at five. As you play, you'll earn these points, and once you reach up, there's your local map. Right on the D-pad will show your world map. You're here in Albion. Here is that guy in the center where you can do your boss battles if you want. Go straight to it. Let's just pick, this is the first one you play. What you're going to do is you're going to spawn in right here at one of these greens fast travel see map as well also very destiny to us but there's no uh, caves or caverns or anything underground everything's above and you'll just do these missions these will be yellow you'll do one you'll do two you'll do another and then after that you'll also open up these other side missions you can do as well you can also go back in and play them um, they tell you the time if you're like I just want to play real quick look five minutes five minutes uh, five minutes maybe less than 20 minutes if you do this kind of boss battle um, but yeah most of them are less than five ten 15 depends on how much time you got you want you want to put in on it you don't um, and every map whether it's you by yourself or you with your friends uh, you can go up here public or private public will give you three other people including yourself so there will always be four players at any given time on each map uh, probably per server and you can help them, they can help you, you can all ignore each other. Um, see, as I go into social, they're still showing me everybody back on the home base here because I didn't spawn anywhere. So again, right D-pad. Uh, I'm on this mission. Uh, as you can see, I've got these areas done. And you'll just go from one area, green, you'll do four of these little flags um, this one has three four the first map has three each section this one has four and I'm sure um, this one was for bunny this one is for Kyle I'm sure these each as we deactivate them will be for another descendant so you've got one two three four five six seven for all the uh, like warframe components where you can build your descendant so now if I go so let's just go I'll go where I'm at and see there's no spaceships there's no cars there's no speeders like Destiny 2, nothing. You just beam. And now once I come in, real quickly, Or not. You just beam in. And that's basically how you get around. You don't have to get on the bike like Destiny 2 and drive and drive and drive for miles. You're here. You're already ready to go. You get to your point. 
it's never very far. And just like Destiny 2, you go just to these little beacons. You start your mission, they're telling you what you're going to get, telling you what you're up against, and telling you how long it's going to take. And that's basically it. And then you'll battle around in this area, shooting. Um, down here on the bottom, you'll see R1, grappling hook. Your melee is L1, R1. Again, this is the PlayStation. Um, and then L1, X, circle, triangle, square. Those are your special abilities. And then for your weapons, bottom right, primary, secondary, back to primary. That's just tapping triangle. Holding it, now you got your special weapon. And again, while you're here, go back, tap it. You've got up for your local map, right for your will map, down is your chat, always, and left D-pad you is your emotes. So now, um, since we're here, big rectangle deep for the PlayStation will open up your options uh, your inventory world leave game your settings basically if you push the options button that's going to take you to your menu you can get in here since we're in the map let's see is there anybody here uh, Three other people. Let's see where they are on the map. Let's push up on the D pad. Let's scroll out. Okay, let's see. There's two players over here. And where's the other one? This person's over here doing his mission. Extra jump, circle for roll, triangle just, just for weapons, square for reload. So it's very, very basic, very, very familiar if you've ever played Destiny 2, if you've ever played Warframe, if you've ever played Anthem, or anything even close. It's going to be very, very familiar to you. Very. Um, I've done this before. Uh, the look, the feel, the third person, um, which is either going to make you like it or hate it. And so that's up to you if you're fans of those other games I mentioned or not. Um, I was, so this is. You know, something I'm enjoying, I like, I hope um, it sticks around, I hope it does well. Oh, the other thing, uh, let's go world map. What if you just play, and it unlocks, and you play, and it unlocks, and it play, and it unlocks. It's not asking a dime of you to open any of these up. You play, it unlocks. You don't have to pay to play. I really want to do these missions. I really want to get this descendant. I'm really hoping I can get these um, parts to it because I, that's going to be my fave. I really want to get them. Um, you don't have to pay anything. You just play, unlock it. There is a grind. That's going to be a problem for some. Um, but if you put into it, you get out of it what you want. 
And let's see where those players are, if they're even close. No, they're still over here far away. Um, but I think that's it. I hope that explains the simplicity of starting out, where everything is at. Up D-pad, right D-pad, down, there's your chat, uh, there's your emotes, um, options, gets you all this, how to find and what all these things do, and what they're doing for you, social aspect, your inventory, the mods, the real simple, you can go into each individual gun, uh, go into triangle, but just to save some steps, if you're already here in your menu, just click that, it goes right back into it for each one. Um, how to customize, shows you where everything was, this who everybody operation. is. It's you can just go in here, them all, what they all do, who you like to work or play for. Um, all your consumables, your crafting materials that you're going to need, and your quests. Uh, you'll always have like one main and one sub. Sub is normally you're aiming to build a new descendant. Your map, pretty easy, self explanatory. Very Destiny 2. Um, the social aspect of course you got your menus down here if you want to control those and uh, where was the inventory and how to sort things make sure you sort everything it makes it real easy by levels by tiers whatever so you can just get in there oh um, R2 if you're gonna junk it, let's undo that. L2, if you're gonna make it your favorite, so you can't junk it. Um, as you'll see down here, you can then junk it for parts. Let's see if I got multiples of anything. I'll show you. I do. Let's make this a junk and. go dismantle it and it gives me crafting parts and now those are in my consumable as more of this so it's real easy you can move your cursor you can go through this you can r1 l1 everything's very 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 easy to get around and it's a fun game Give it a shot, give it a try, you'll either like it or you'll hate it if you liked or hated those other games, and uh, I'll see you in here. Alright, thanks for watching.